Good afternoon. Today's topic, I have to do this with my iPad because my phone keeps telling me that I cannot do, oh my goodness, it's hard to do. Um, I can't do video because I don't have enough storage. With the iOS update, my husband thought it would be a great idea to give me all of the video um, pictures for like, um, I don't know, the last six months or plus or something. Anyway, my phone can't handle that plus, you know, because I take lots of pictures too, you know, cause I'm, that's what moms do. They take lots of pictures. Anyway, here's my, um, here's my, uh, my supper in the crock pot. It is a, um, pork roast. Um, it's with pork tenderloin and... I just, you know, I added the potato, my usual, what I add when I make roast is the potatoes, the the carrots, celery, and onion, and you can see little pieces of garlic in there, so I did do garlic, and there is white wine in here, and some seasonings. So, anyway, this meal we'll probably eat for three days or something like that. Um, my family will eat it hot the first day. Then I end up, you know, I'll, I'll put the rest in containers and I end up either eating it for lunch the next couple of days by myself because my family doesn't really, isn't really big on leftovers. So, whatever. It, it works out, works out anyway. Um, okay, so, I'm not entirely, I've, this is like a recipe that I just kind of threw together. I, I have no idea if it's going to turn out you know it might turn out wonderful and then I'll make it again and it might taste just like <laughs> my beef stew that um, the family really likes um, I will thicken up that sauce later with some slurry that I'll have made with um, my cornstarch um, whatever way you like to thicken up your sauces that's your preference I already mixed this earlier, but I figured I'd do it again since my video cut short earlier. Um, it's a much bigger bigger window to look through. <laughs> um, okay, so, yeah, there's just that. Uh, it's going to just be a short video. Um, this meal alone, probably, let's see, the, the pork tenderloin in here. Oh, that's not too hot. The pork tenderloin in there, there was two of them in a package for... Uh, like 350, three pounds, just over three and a half pounds for $14. I was like, excellent. And I didn't really have to cut off too much fat with them because, well, it is pork tenderloin. So, you know, that's actually a non, not too terribly fatty piece of meat. And then I had to buy the bag of potatoes. I think that was like $4 or something like that. And, um, let's see, what else? Oh, and then about the carrots and the onion and the celery. I think that ended up being, I think it was about 25, 25, 30 bucks with the, with the addition of the, the buying the wine. I had to put the, because I didn't have any white wine. So I had to buy some white wine. So I ended up spending $30 on this meal, which is not bad. It's a little more expensive than the, um, the, the beef, the beef stew that I usually make because I don't usually make that with the wine. But I usually, what I usually do with this one is, I'll usually actually to roast it in the oven. So this is my first time trying it in the crock pot. And I'm hoping it's going to turn out just as good. I've, I looked, and they basically do, you know, people do this, um, they do their, you know, pork tenderloins in, in the crock pot. But they leave them as a whole piece of meat. Um, I prefer to cut up everything, you know, that way I don't have to do prep later if with cutting it. I like to just be able to scoop into bowls for the family and eat it. But that's just my preference. Otherwise, everybody else did it the same way with, uh, with the meats and the vegetables. I, I don't remember if their vegetables were different or not, but that's just the melody of three that I like to use. So, anyway, I guess this is, uh going to be a short little video. I figured I'd uh, post about what I'm having for supper tonight. And I still don't know what size crock pot this is. I'm pretty sure it says somewhere on here, but I uh, don't really care. <laughs> I always fill it to the 
fill it full. Um, I always have that problem when I make stuff with a crock pot is I usually end up filling it to the line, <laughs> you know, to the top here and call it good. Um, okay, so, and I still do have to, I know I, st I wrote it down, I still have to remember to do my video on my complaints about um, school dri driving with people dropping their kids off outside of the school. Um, this being a middle school now, I don't have any kids in elementary, so. Alright, um, that's it. Bye.